because they resemble the geodesic domes the architect Buckminster Fuller was designing in the 1960s. Croto reckoned these buckyballs had just the right properties to make them good candidates for explaining the mystery. Oh, I realized it would be very stable in the interstellar medium, much more stable than anything else because it uh, can survive the radiation field, which is quite high. Croto shared the Nobel Prize in 1996 for discovering buckyballs. But there's an old saying in science that just because something looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, that doesn't prove it's a duck. No, to prove buckyballs were what was floating around in interstellar space and absorbing starlight, you'd need to study them up close. Since going into interstellar space wasn't an option, the next best thing was to recreate the conditions of interstellar space in the lab. This is not easy. Um, this is low pressure and very low temperature. But a friend of Proto's named John Meyer seems to have managed it. Meyer works at the University of Basel. 20 years ago, he had a pretty good simulation of interstellar conditions in his lab, and it looked like a form of buckyball known as C60 Plus appeared to have almost the right properties. But not quite. Meyer was...
Good one.